which is next Wednesday. So now introducing the athletes for the women's 3,000 metres. It's the longest distance that we'll see today and indeed the last event across the full 200 metre oval of the track. And we've also got, of course, that 60 hurdles men's final to come. So Ilon Amon on end of Finland and uh, Luna Sambran of Argentina. Sabatini, Guy Sabatini of Italy. Really, and uh, Almayu, real mix of nationalities we've got here, but three to watch out for potentially. The last three to be introduced Hannah Klein, another one of the versatile athletes. But to be honest, if you're racing over 3,000 meters, it normally means that you are versatile. And Amy Eloise Marcos, 8.44.15, her lifetime best. And only half a second ahead on uh, time on paper, ahead of Anna Klein. That's Deribe Welteji as we rattle through really quickly. 20-year-old from Ethiopia, 4.16 for 1,500. Don't have the time for her 3,000, so could well be her debut if the World Athletics website is anything to go by. And uh, I believe we're going to have two pacemakers here. Jenny Selman is going to be one of them who of course was in the 800 not so long ago, and then Charlotte Moucher of France. So, eight athletes in this women's 3,000 metres. <coughs> Watches at the ready. Jenny Selman and Charlotte Moucher pacemaking here. And Moucher is just uh, heading towards the front. And then behind them we've got, uh, of course, Amy Eloise Marcos is the European indoor champion from Torin in Poland. Was one of those championships whereby being careful around coronavirus was important and well for now thankfully we've passed that stage in history if you like a number of athletes saying you know i want to go to championships like the olympics again but i maybe want to have the full olympic experience and not the the covid games that i had in tokyo and so you have to consider that young athletes who've emerged over the last couple of years haven't had that many championships with full crowds, and that's another aspect also. So it's almost like you're experiencing part of that for the first time, and that may be the case for Amy Eloise Marcos. Deribe Welteji, though, is uh, first behind our pacemaking duo. So I mentioned that she doesn't appear to have a time on the World Athletics website for 3,000. But 4.16 for 1,500. She was actually uh, fourth at the World Athletics Championships over 800 metres, which is really interesting. And it's particularly interesting because all of the world's best, it seems, over 800 are really young. Obviously, Keely Hodgkinson and uh, Athing Mo of uh, Britain and the United States, respectively, 
have only just emerged themselves and well Teji who came fourth is uh, age 20 and Mary Mora feels like a new name on the scene also so it's quite interesting because from one edition of a championships to another you could end up having a whole new set of athletes coming through who didn't make the final previously and well maybe that'll be the case over 3,000 meters and at the uh, European indoors in Istanbul and part of the reason for that could be that some of those who do the 3,000 didn't choose to do it last time because it goes back to what I was saying about if you're a 3,000 meter runner that only means you're pretty good over other distances including the 1,500 too and you might have others to choose from if you're Jakobinga Britson though you'll probably try and win both so Mouche still in front of Selman here and then Well Teji so it's as you were but you can see there are three athletes behind the pacemakers and Hannah Klein is right up there as well and then Amy Eloise Marcos the European indoor champion as mentioned leads that second group but some way behind so that's interesting and you go back to uh, what we were saying about just half a second separating the PBs of Marcos and Klein. Jimmy Eloise Marcos, 8.40, lifetime best in the Diamond League circuit. Well, Tedji appears to be a bit of a raw talent and well, Klein, she's also a European indoor medalist, a bronze medalist, but over 1500 meters so all a little different she actually ran 1500 meters last weekend in Manchester 415 she was actually in the same race as uh, Jenny Selman who's just in front of her but pacemaking this time and Klein also stuck with the 1500 outdoors where she was fifth in Munich at her home championships the German so four minutes into the race. Mouche drops out, leaving Selman to pace make as we approach that uh, halfway stage. So now we get a taste of just how comfortable well Teji is out there leading and it's clear she doesn't want to put in too much work and exert too much energy just at this point it's a Sembo Alemayu in second place so the two Ethiopians first and second against the German Hannah Klein and again we've got that wave like pace make technology so the digital pacemaking picks up after the humans if they drop out and uh, let's have a look at the meeting record so three years ago Winfrey Yavi of uh, Bahrain with 8.39.64 feel like they need to push on up the pace we're going to challenge that. But uh, that's not to do a disservice to the effort that Well Teji is now putting in. And Klein just trying to manage that gap. So five laps to go now. Five forty one with uh, one K to go. Teji can continue this pace, we actually might end up closer to eight and a half minutes. Let's see if she can continue. So, 33.3 second lap. Someone actually out on the track there, roaring on, wearing a lanyard. Nice to see that encouragement. Well, Teji now, she was level with the uh, 
digital pacemaking and has now moved ahead. Clearly so. So 33.3 last time around, 34.2. So this is really good pace still. As Alemayu falls into the clutches of Hannah Klein. But, uh, to ask Hannah Klein to do anything else than uh, sit with the second of the two Ethiopians, such as the lead that Welteji, the 20-year-old, is building. So the noise ramping up in the stadium then. The Stad Jesse Owens in Van der Rohe in Normandy. And so the pace is dropping a little, but only in uh, understandable increments. And overall, Still on for a really strong time here. And you can't even see anyone further back than third other than those being lapped. And uh, well, Teji pretty much metronomic. There is uh, Amy Eloise Marcos, who's not too far away from being lapped. Look at this finish. Incredible speed. But there's one lap to go, surely. There's one lap to go. She has. Well, well, Teji, that was a mistake. She sprinted, but there was still one more 200 metres. I don't know whether it was a miscount, but certainly the bell was ringing. I know it's not always audible, but could hear the bell, and that meant there was one more lap to go. And eventually she's back up on her feet, all credit to her. She had enough of a gap somehow. Oh, what a time this could have been, had that error not been made but I think it's still going to be a meeting record and a world leading time. I cannot believe it. Well, Teji, in 8.33, despite mistakenly sprinting and finishing a lap early, back up and winning. Well, just what that might have been, we'll never know. Al Mayu couple of seconds behind 835 and then Klein 836 well as embarrassed as you can tell by her body language that Karibe Welteji will be by that mistake she is only 20 years of age and she done all the hard work and she built up the advantage that meant you know what it didn't matter too much I remember seeing that at the European Team Championships, as we see Ilona Molinen of fin Finland finishing, that uh, Tom uh, Scherbo of Norway in the steeplechase, he built up a huge lead that he absolutely clattered into on the high hurdles, fell over, got up and still won. So, uh, circumstances like that still possible. I think Toppy Ragtonen's done that at European Team as well. So we have to have another look at this. Dips on the line and is told by a number of people gesturing and waving, saying, go, 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 you've got another lap. And Moushe, the pacemaker, is doing maybe different jobs to what she thought she'd be doing last stage of the race. But it's, I guess it's some form of pacemaking. In surreal style, but still brilliance, we get an Ethiopian one to well, Teji from Alamayu. Well, in expressing that there was some comedy to that, I don't want to do a disservice to, uh, well, Tenji, because uh, she had the lead and uh, it's still a meeting record and, and world leading time as we saw on the graphic 833 44 <laughs> 